All right, guys, we are coming at you with an interesting one. We don't see a lot of battles in South America, but bienvenidos uh, y buenos dias. Uh, welcome and good day, everybody. As we delve into the Latin American revolutions, we did a little bit of this when we did uh, a battle for the Mexican War of Independence. So we are down in Patagonia. Uh, as we delve into the Argentine and Chilean Wars of Independence, uh, here with the Battle of Maipu, which is going to pit the army of the Andes and their Chilean allies against the Royalists of Spain, attempting to maintain colonial power over the southern half of South America. Uh, so we're going to be playing as the Andeans, a combination of, I believe, what was essentially, uh, like, Argentina, uh, Paraguay, and uh, Uruguay. And we're going to be going up against Spain, obviously. Uh, but we're also, we've also got some Chileans in our mix here. So uh, we've got... Uh, we're, it's going to be a little complicated because I have to use Spain for both factions. So it's going to be a Spain v. Spain out there. But uh, the map will help kind of keep it separate. We've got the blue for the Andes and the red for Spain, which, you know, makes sense. That blue for uh, predominantly Argentina and then red for uh, Spain out there. Numbers we've got are about equal, about 5,000 for both armies. So we have this on a scale, I think it's 2 to 1. But it might be as much as 3 to 1 because I do have a lot of cavalry for the uh, Indians. Army of the Indians. Uh, <clears throat> and a lot of cazadores, which are light infantry in the Spanish language. And these guys look awesome, dude. Uh, and I believe Spain also is coming in with a lot of Cazadores. They don't have as much cavalry as I do. I think they just have one or two uh, units out there. One being a, a bodyguard unit. Uh, but you can see I've got five total units of cavalry. So this might be three to one. And oh my god, our artillery just ripped through that. Oh my god, getting great hits in. I think they're trying to get an early strike in on our uh, light infantry, our Cazadores, because they look like they're charging. Um, I was initially using my lights to get some, oh my god, reconnaissance on uh, the Spanish, but these guys are making a bold balls to the wall charge, and we're getting some shots off with our own light infantry as these guys turn to try to, oh my god, run these guys down. They're getting hit hard. And I think they're broken. They just could not compete with the Cazadores and artillery coming in on them. It's like the main Spanish force is now moving up. The cavalry failed to secure any good clearance of our lights. Uh, so they're bringing up some of their own Cazadores on the flank there. They've got some Dragoons that look maybe they're using to guard the artillery. They've got some cannons back here. And it uh, looks like they're bringing up some troops from around this little plateau. I'm getting my own... Oh, I think this is... Oh, this is some more of the Spanish Dragoons. Some of the skirmish with our lights out there. I did send some of my own Dragoons out to the flanks to help guard. But I've got a really nice collection of cannons out there. Uh, we're going to shake around our units a little bit, move some Cazadores out to the flanks. As it looks like the Spanish are trying to pitch some maneuver on us. I think these guys are putting down stakes. And the Spanish line is moving up on us. Oh, 
and we're getting some nice shots off on him. Commanders for this battle for the Andean. We've got Jose de San Martin, who was a very famous uh, revolutionary in the Latin Revolution, so that's a big name to know. Uh, but we also have Fernando O'Higgins, which is uh, not the most Hispanic sounding last name. Uh, and Juan Gregorio de las Eras. For Spain, we have Mariano Osorio. Like the Spanish repositioning out there. You guys even fired? Come on. Oh, looks like a little bit of a Spanish. Oh, man. <clears throat> right in their faces, too. A little bit of a Spanish bayonet charge. <clears throat> oh, man. That third line is just brutal. Shot him. That first line did a good job of holding them back so the other two lines could just fight them. Just shoot them right in the face. Uh, Cosnores, <clears throat> pull back a little bit from that right flank. Over here, we've got a Dragoon charge by the Spanish Dragoons. Coming in. As it looks like there may be a flanking unit trying to come around and take out our own Dragoons. But the battle has shifted to a focus on my left flank now. So we're going to shift these guys into square because those Dragoons are lethal uh, as the Spanish center tries to just maintain its position, but they're having a mass route as our boys along the main front just crush them. But we have been taking some casualties, so, you know, it's not a complete uh, annihilation. But we are breaking them. Uh, looks like the battle is going to shift over to the left as some um, Spanish forces try to fight in a withdrawn, withdrawn per, uh, position here, using this little hill as a little bit of cover. But I think they're falling back. Uh, we've got some, I think these are some more of those Spanish dudes falling back as well, maybe trying to go for another assault. Uh, we've got pretty aggressive battle happening between the two armies in a melee here, but I think the battle is mostly over. And we're sending our own cavalry out to go take out the Spanish dudes. Lining them up for, I believe we're going to get a volley off and then charge in. Oh, nice shot. Or maybe we're just using a big center line. Maybe we aren't charging it just yet. Music we've got for you, by the way, some folk music from Chile. Uh, where this battle took place. A shout out to any Chileans watching. And there we go, a breaking Spanish line. Uh, some of their troops are returning to the center, but it's a pretty big break. They sent in their reserve dragoons, and they just got crushed under the weight of hot lead. A huge break from the Spanish. Yeah, I think those guys are broken. Uh, it may just be this unit left, and oh, they've got a little bit of a holdout out here. And I shifted more cavalry around, so we're going to have a massive cavalry charge against these boys over here. Oh my god, just getting destroyed. as the other two cavalry units pour in. Got a unit of line infantry trying to form up on the center. 
I think somebody forgot to tell him the army is destroyed. You guys got to get the hell out of South America. Yeah, they're broken. They're like, oh god, we're overrun. Uh, looks like there's a little... I'm not sure who these Cazadores are shooting at. They're shooting at those shattered troops. They're missing their shots. But we're going to go in for the artillery now and this battle. Looks like some of the Dragoons are trying to come back uh, to guard the cannons. Spanish cannons are now the uh, only real force left in this battle. And I mean, they're getting, they're getting hits in. Just trying to provide some covering fire for their retreating comrades. Their cavalry moving in. Intercept some of my boys. Trying to just protect those guns. By the way, speaking of protecting your guns, uh, if you guys are interested... We do have a Patreon. You can help make all the magic happen by heading to the link in the video description below. Get signed up for one of several really cool tiers. All starting at one dollar a month. But I gotta give a quick shout out to all my Patreon subscribers. Oh, that guy just got wrecked. And the Spanish artillery is broken. Spanish dudes on the run now. And now we're just writing folks down. Guys, this battle is over. If you liked this battle, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more battles from 19th century South America, which I don't think I've said yet, uh, let me know in the comments below which battles you'd like to see. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reenactments, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Oh man, these guys just get trampled. And uh, looks like that's going to be it, guys. So I will see you on the next battlefield.